man, I love this song. Hey, watch this. This is Info Puppet, and I'm doing my part two review of Photoshop Elements 11. We're gonna do some really cool effects. I think you're gonna love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Okay, Photoshop Elements 11 is open, and let's look at the different modes first. You have Quick, Guided, and Expert. Now with Quick, you only get like five tools, and Expert, all the tools that you're used to are right there. But let's look at Guided. You've got some great things over here. Brightness and contrast, correct skin tones, Enhanced color is what we're on now. Look how easy this is. It is awesome! Isn't this a lovely couple? I think they're so cute. Hey, um, honey, did you remember to bring the sunscreen? The, oh my gosh, look at us! Oh my gosh! Told you to bring the sunscreen! All right, let's go to Lighten and Darken and Perfect Portrait. I love Perfect Portrait. Check this out. We're going to click on Apply Smart Blur first. And you can work with the radius right here. And OK. And look at that. It's like a painting. It is so cool. Now we're going to go to Reveal Original and Blur Brush. Can you say blur brush three times fast? Blur brush, blur brush, blur brush. I can't. You can adjust the settings here. I'm going to go to 72% opacity. And now I'm actually going to just brush on the painting style on my image. Look at that! It's so cool! Oh man, I love this! And now we're just going to go to um, Spot Healing Tool, Right Eye, Bright Eyes, Darken, White and Teeth. Yeah, White and Teeth. So this is real easy. I'm not going to do it really exact, but it's very easy and fast and quick to brighten teeth with Photoshop Elements 11. Now I'm clicking on the Spot Healing Brush Tool, and we're going to get rid of some wrinkles up here. Well, he looks kind of cool anyways but we're just getting rid of, we're just left clicking holding or left clicking and releasing do I say hold left click and release that's it they both look much 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 more beautiful all right we're done with that one what else have we got here uh line drawing is what we're on now I love this one look at this it looks like a stencil of the picture! So cool! Alright, what else we got? Uh, Lomo camera effect. I love it! So, all I have to do now is click on apply vignette. And look, one click of a button. And we have a vignette. Now, we're going to go to old fashioned photo. I can click on Newspaper, Urban, or Vivid. I like Vivid. And now we're going to do Add Texture and Add Use Saturation. But look at this! It's awesome! And let's go to Vignette. Look at this, you can just click on a button and I just clicked on white and look, automatic vignette! One button! Unbelievable, there's black vignette. Now let's go back to white and I'll show you how to adjust this. Just sliding feather and roundness. And look, it's so awesome and so easy! I'm loving me some Photoshop Elements 11! But let's go to the best yet, Photoplay. I love Photoplay. 
if you haven't seen Out of Bounds, click right here on this uh, link and that's my Out of Bounds video tutorial. It's awesome. Let's go to Pop Art now. And I like, uh, I like this one over here. And now Posturize Image. And there you go. That is so cool. <laughs> and now let's go to reflection. My favorite part, reflection. Well, add reflection and boom, look at that. That is so cool. Now you can uh, adjust your reflection here. This is a floor reflection, okay. And this is a glass reflection. And this is water reflection. Let's look closer at water reflection. Look at that! That is awesome! Alright, we're done with that. But, I don't know, I guess, you know, what are we going to say about Photoshop Elements 11? Well, I think it's an incredible program! I love it! Photoshop Elements 11 rocks!